I'm choosing to love on you in this moment. In this moment, I'm going to love on you, okay? And we're gonna look real good in this outfit. So you just stay tight. Hey, beautiful people of the world, it's your girl, A. Reed. And if you're tuning in today, it's because I'm inviting you to the most challenging part of my day, which is getting dressed. Before we go any further, thank you for those of you who are joining my channel for the first time. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe just yet because I haven't given you any buy-in. However, for those of you who are joining me again, thank you for stopping by again. And if you haven't, please feel free to definitely subscribe so that you can get all the notifications when I post weekly. And of course, if you like the video, like, comment, and definitely share it because I'm sure that there's people out there who can relate to your girl. So going back into the video, the most challenging part of my day is getting dressed. This has always been a major struggle of mine since I was a child, just because I wasn't comfortable with my body. And I noticed as an adult that that also trickled into my daily life. I'm the type of person that if somebody invite me to a dinner party, birthday, vacations, literally anything, I start to freak out in my mind because I'm like, what am I gonna wear? And then I start thinking about, you know, the rolls on my back, my hang lows, my arm. Typically, my style is more casual, laid back, chill, a lifestyle. I don't get dressed up. It's just not really my style per se, but I do believe that a part of that is because I'm not comfortable with certain parts of my body and I want to be comfortable in my outfit and show up, you know, and I don't want to be worrying about, ooh, what my rolls look like on my back and what my hang rolls look like and I gotta, you know, lift it and do all that extra stuff and then my arms and stretch marks. And I'm tired of living like that. Like I'm tired of living like that. So today I am going to try on some winter fall looks and really just feel confident and love on my body in this very moment. And my hope is that you can have a few takeaways from these looks that I'm presenting to you. But also if this is something that you struggle with as well, I hope that you seeing me and my vulnerable state helps you to grow into your confidence because this is what this channel is all about. For my newbies out there, if this is your first time watching my channel, this is what my channel is all about. It's about building a healthier relationship with ourselves. Let me say that again. It's about building a healthier relationship with ourselves, okay? And I'm gonna challenge myself to step out and wear these things. And throughout the video, as I show you these looks, I'm gonna point out my major concerns and we're gonna blow them to the wind because I can't live like this no more, y'all. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So let's just start with what I have on currently. Let me back it up for you. So currently what I have on is a bodysuit and some mom jeans. And typically I would not wear a top like this because your girl have them hang lows. So I'm not plunging at you, right? I'm just bare chest. I'm just bare chest. So that's one thing. The second thing is I love a nice, tight, snatched waist. And what gets me is that like this part, which you can't really see on camera with this outfit because it's a black top, but I want this to be like snatched, snatched. Right? That's why this is something that I typically wouldn't do. However, this is still a decent, cute enough outfit that I need to just like, I don't need to be discouraged, right? I need to just step out and wear this and keep it at that. So one thing I would say though, is that if I were to like really wear this out in the street during the winter or the fall, I would not wear this with the necklace. So I'm gonna take that off. And I would definitely pair it with a pop of color so usually my style is i like to wear black like i said before i like to wear black and my style is very chilled my style is very very chill 
However, I do like to add a pop of color with jackets, scarves, my sneakers. That's how I tend to pull the look together. As far as the outfit goes, it's usually always super plain and basic. So one moment as I grab the jacket. I would definitely wear this with, you know, my yellow jacket, a cute scarf. It's just something to add a little pop of color to it and tie the look in if I were going out. So someday, one day, I will wear this outfit. It's definitely something more like casual, more chill, but it's a step up from what I would normally do. On to the next look. So this is the second look. And if you know me, I love leggings and I love a crop top. Now the things that concern me, first of all, I love this outfit, right? Like, mm, mm, I do love this outfit. However, my concerns are that my rolls are always gonna be out. Now, something that I do every day is I do this. I do this. Just so that, you know, I can see what my dream body looks like and just be like, girl, yeah, one day you'll get there. One day you'll get there, right? Like, one day you'll get there. No rules. We can wear an outfit like this and I have to worry about rules. But, like, why do we do that? Like, why? Every day? Every day I'm doing this to myself? And it's just like, girl, embrace it. Don't be torturing yourself. So today... I'm gonna love on you. Okay, boo boo? I'm gonna love on you today. You can stay right there. You can stay right there. And I'm not gonna allow those rolls to discourage me from wearing this outfit because it is cute. It is a cute outfit, okay? It is cute. It is a cute outfit. Oh, and something else too? My gut. Like, my gut is. She's out in these. She's out. She's out. She's out. So it's not like, you know, she's gonna be flat with it, right? This is another thing that I do all the time. I do this. I would literally lift my stomach up just to see what it looks like without it. And I could literally feel the lightness. Like I could feel the lightness. But you know what? I'm choosing to love on you in this moment. In this moment, I'm going to love on you, okay? And we're gonna look real good in this outfit. So you just stay tight. So this is outfit number two, and I'm gonna challenge myself to wear this outfit out in these streets. And when you see me, don't trip. <laughs> so on to outfit number three. So this is another fall winter look where it's a sweater paired with uh, another high-waisted type of mom jeans. And actually, I think I would pair this with my green first. Let me just grab that really quickly. Yeah, I definitely like this look. This is. I could do this for sure. And I would do this again with probably my white ups. Just cruising through the city. This is a chilled winter look for sure that I think I would I would do. I would do. I would do it. Yeah, this is cute. I like this. We could do this. We could do this. I'll do this. So the thing about my body type is my waist is high, my butt is high, I have long legs with a short torso, which I think is why I love a good crop top, because, or even like a, like a three quarter crop top, those work really well for me, because my torso is short. And not only is my torso short, but I also have rows, so it's short and then it can appear bulky. 
However, I'm definitely going to challenge myself to wear this outfit. So this is something that I'm definitely going to wear in the winter, fall of 2021 and just not be consumed. Worrying right about my back looking broad. So on to another look. So here is another look. I decided to keep the jeans and just pair it with a different top. This has a little keyhole peek through. Again, you're not getting no plunge out of me. It's just bare chest. And this is a cute outfit, right? Like this is cute, this is chilled. I could do this with a pair of heels. I could do it with sneakers. I could dress it up, I can dress it down. My areas of concern is the rose. And it just, it don't look that bad on camera. It don't look that bad on camera. But in real life, that's all I see are these rows. Like, I just see the rows. Let me see what it looks like from the back. I'm sure it looks like how I envision it to look in my head, which is just a whole bunch of rows. But um, this outfit, like, I wouldn't want to be discouraged from wearing this outfit because my rose in the back. Um, something else that I noticed that I did when I put on this outfit was I went like this, right? And like, so I'm tucking on my stomach, I'm trying to extend my upper body so that I look smaller in here and it's more cinched, so that in here is more cinched. And I'm tired of doing that too. So I'm not gonna, and sometimes I, I walk around like that, right? Like in an outfit, I, I would walk around like this and I would carry that tense. Like it would be so tense all in here and it's because I'm being self-conscious about how I look in a certain outfit. So I'm going to not do that, okay? I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna rock out as is and look cute because this is a cute outfit and it's a shame that I haven't worn it just yet it's quite a shame so but this is really cute I actually like this a lot I actually like this a lot and I'm not gonna be stuck in my mind about it I'm just gonna go out there and wear it because it's really not that slippery so this is I forget the number of looks this is, but we're gonna go on to the next. <laughs> so this is the last look. It is a corduroy halter bodysuit with high-waisted leggings and a printed blazer. This outfit typically is okay for me. Like, I feel comfortable enough, my arms are covered. I don't have to worry about the rolls on my back. My gut is out, yeah, but because I'm wearing black, it's pretty much camouflage. One thing that I would like to point out is that if I were to wear this on a spring day perhaps, or maybe I would wear it to some type of function and we're dancing and it's getting hot and sweaty and I'm like drenching in sweat. One thing about myself is that I would hold on to this jacket for dear life. Why? Because I would be too insecure about my stretch marks, um, you know, the fat in the back, you know, that bra fat, I'll be concerned about that, and I would be concerned about my arms. So in true fashion of me conquering my insecurities regarding dressing, um, I'm just gonna show y'all what that looks like so that y'all know I'm not bugging out. <laughs> So this is what the outfit would look like by itself, no jacket, relatively cute, right? Now my arms are gonna be my point of concern. And then of course, in the back, I'll be worried about like these areas, as well as the stretch marks on my shoulders and that just come across my back. However, we're not living in that space any more we're not doing it ash boop, get it out your mind girl so i am gonna challenge myself 
to one day and wear this outfit with the blazer and when I get hot, take it off and not worry about my arms, the stretch marks, the back fat, just boop, out the mind. So this is the last look. And in all honesty, I feel naked, I feel exposed, I feel super vulnerable right now. But at the same time, I do feel empowered. I do feel like I'm conquering something of mine by inviting you on this journey of just sharing a few fall winter looks for 2021. So that's it. So those are my fall winter looks for 2021. And I'm gonna challenge myself to actually step out and wear these outfits and wear them confidently. So please feel free in the comment box to say what's your favorite outfit. Let me know if you, know, you have some of the same concerns as me. And guess what? If you don't have those concerns, put that in the chat box as well because I'm gonna need that confidence. I'm gonna need that confidence as well because for the most part, yes, I'm confident with myself. However, I do have my days. Like I have my highs and I have my lows and that is completely normal. And that's okay. We'll, we'll embrace those moments as well, but we're gonna need that snapback, right? We're gonna need that mental snapback. Not that physical snapback, we are gonna get that too. But we need that mental snapback to pull ourselves up out of the negative thinking and talking back to ourselves. So if this video was encouraging, inspiring, entertaining to you, this is your option to like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll speak with you soon. Deuce, deuce, y'all.